my final year project, I, I've been looking at uh, implementing keystroke analysis onto smartphones, um, looking in particular at um, putting it onto touchscreen devices. Um, in the past, there have been um, previous studies that have looked at keystroke analysis on mobile devices. Um, it's been quite successful, um, but uh, to date, not many have um, implemented the analysis onto the phone itself. They've relied on back-end systems. And there have been a few that have tried it, um, but it's not been very successful. Um, so my idea was to put everything into one device, um, enrolment, uh, analysis, and get the results to see how that performs with current mobile technology, whether it can cope, and then to whether it works as a touchscreen, as a tactile environment. So the motivation behind my project was a combination of different factors. Um, first one was that three quarters of the population of the world now use mobile phones. Um, the second thing is people no longer just use mobile phones for phoning people and texting people. Now you can email people, you can shop online, you can do online banking. All of these things interact with personal information that, that can be grabbed by anyone really. So we need to secure that as much as we can. It's, it's becoming um, imperative to secure everything that relates to us. We don't want it stolen from us. So um, I was looking at hardening a password really with the keystroke analysis. So it's not inconvenient to use, it's something that they already use. Typing in a password, they do it every day. So adding on this extra level of security just makes everything a lot easier and more secure. Uh, so for those of you who are, aren't aware of keystroke analysis, um, it's classed as a behavioural biometric. So instead of using a fingerprint scan or an iris scan, um, it's trying to authenticate or verify a user by the way they type. Um, yeah, in this project, I was looking at the inter-keystroke timings um, in particular. So, um, from switching keyboards from um, alpha to numeric um, and special characters, just everyone types slightly differently. So, when measuring down to milliseconds, you can uh, identify someone by the way they type. <laughs> Okay, so I'm already enrolled on the system, um, so I'm going to go ahead and verify existing user. I'm going to type in my name, and I'm going to type in my password, and the uh, application is going to time it and uh, compare it to an existing template. So I'm going to go and enroll a new user now, and choose a name and you, let's choose a password and you click enroll and the system now asks you to enter your password again um, and it will ask you to do it to up to 15 times um, to get um, a template that's indicative of the way that you type so as you can see I'll have to keep entering it And if you don't type it right, it asks you to do it again, so you get a very accurate template. And after 15 successful passwords, your template's created. So I'm going to go ahead into settings and classification algorithms. Um, this application currently uses two different algorithms. Both are a statistical approach. One is mean and standard deviation, and the other is minimum distance. Both of these, you can change the sensitivity of it, making it, tailoring it to uh, each individual user. And uh, you can also change the overall acceptance threshold. Um, both of which combine make it um, individual to each user. So the evaluation of this project was split into two parts. Um, the first was looking at the feasibility of performing the analysis on the phone itself. 
Um, previous studies have tried to do this um, but have not been very successful and relied on back-end systems. And this time, um, both the verification processes and uh, creating the, uh, the enrollment templates were both very successful and created in uh, under a second. And so the second part of the evaluation was looking at the feasibility of keystroke analysis within this specific tactile environment and the touchscreen device. Uh, this was also very successful um, with a system performance rate of below 20%. Um, and then individual participants uh, were seen getting equal error rates of zero, um, but then also some were reaching up to 50%. And this is because um, everyone's typing pattern is different. Um, some do work with keystroke analysis and some just don't get along with it.